Hey, hey, Jet fan, sports fan, this is Sports Talk. You know, we're recal, man. Your boy recal. Anyway, man, um, you know, I'm I'm gonna go straight through it, man. I'm sure a lot of you guys watched the Jets uh, on Thursday night, and, and, and you saw, you know, what 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 I knew <laughs> for a long time that that Zach Wilson was trash. He was not a quarterback. You know, that's something that I'm, I'm my last video I made where 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 I um. I talked to, you know, the um, the buddy of mine who's a, who's, who's a well-known scout, and, and and told me that um, Zach Wilson family allegedly, you know, I'm gonna keep saying allegedly because again I don't want to be sued, but Zach Wilson family allegedly paid scouts to 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 get him drafted because nobody, you know, you know, you watch him in BYU, he was, you know, because he doesn't know. He doesn't know anything from from high school. His his family paid allegedly high, uh, college. They paid for him to get to the BYU and, and pay scouts to get him drafted. And, 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 and so I asked my you know, my you know, my friend. I said, "Hey, are you talking about Jet Scouts? Because because it, you know he was nowhere in the radar of anyone, and the Jets was just locked up, locked in. This is the guy they you know they wanted all along, and, and, and I was very you know, I was like, wait, wait a minute. I, um, you know, what, like, what it is about him? You know, just Justin Fields was a, you know, was a way better quarterback. Trey Lance, way better quarterback. Mac Jones, way better quarterback. Those guys are quarterback, actually. Zach Wilson is not it. It's not a quarterback. Okay, he shouldn't even be in the league. His family allegedly pushed for him uh, uh, to, to 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 get up there with money. You know, they pay a lot of people. So I was like, wait, wait a minute. Are we talking about Jets scout? And, and, and my friends, like you know, Rika, I don't want to hurt your, I don't want to hurt your heart. I know you're a Jets fan, so let's just move on from that. But just know, his family allegedly pay scouts. And, and, and I was like, wait, a, you know, I see Joe Douglas uh, uh, um, pick, you know, you know, Gary Wilson pick, you know, uh, uh, um, Jermaine Johnson, you know, you know, uh, uh, um, Brees Hall, uh, 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 Michael Carter, both Carters. Right, I, 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 sauce, you know what I mean, and, and so I'm like, I'm like, you know, there's a lot of players, but but I'm like, wait a minute, I, I, Clemens, I could go on, right? Except the the, the... anyway, I, I, I say wait, wait a minute, you know, that those are those are players that that good players, solid players that 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 you know Joe Douglas picked. So I, I I didn't I didn't I'm I'm sure that, you know, I know that the scout had had something to do with it because he didn't he didn't make visit to all those those places, so I know the scouts our scouts scouts was able to do something with that so so I didn't want to believe that 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 our you know the jet scout were were paid you know um to to even to even entertain that but it's looking more and more like maybe he's talking about the jet scouts as well that they were paid. You know, because how do you how do you do that? You know, uh, uh, um, would Joe Douglas have a lot of work to do this off season? Um, I talked to a source, very high level source, in a Jets organization, high level, in, in a Jets organization. I'm not going to say, you know, what level. Or do, do, do they sign checks? <laughs> you know, uh, uh, um, he's a very, very good, you know, good good friend of mine. Um, you know, we talk. All the time, um, from from my days, uh, um, you know, working in New York, um, being at Rockefeller Center, all the stuff. So from from all our all our time, but um, we still, you know, kept in touch. We talk, all, you know, all the time. <sighs> Man, I know you, you know, he's invited me to the games, you know, a lot, but I I, I haven't really you know, had the chance to you know to do it. You know, been very busy, but what he said is, uh, um, you know. Joe Douglas and, and, and both Joe Douglas and Robert Sala, yes, Joe Douglas and Robert Sala. If the Jets do not make the playoff next year, they are both fired. All right, from a high level source from the Jets, he said, if if the Jets do not make the playoff next year, right after after this meltdown. Because the uh, um, that's it. Because for Joe Douglas, 
from what 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 Joe Douglas is, you know, is doing right now, no no other GM, no other GM would be able to get that opportunity to even entertain to even do that. Because because you look at okay, Sam Donalds was 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 a, was a bus, right? You know, Sam Donald was a bust, but he's a, he was a quarterback. So I, you know, what I mean, he was a quarterback. Zach Wilson's trash, not even a quarterback. So what what have you seen? Because I asked the uh, uh, the high level official because he was in the room. You know, he he's 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 always in the room. He had to be in the room to make to make to make those choices. All right, to, you know, decision decision had to go. I'm not gonna say they had to go through him <laughs> at first, but you know, but he's in a room. You know, he's in a room. That decision, okay. So Joe Douglas told him, Zach Wilson was was it, because because Justin Phil was the guy. Because I asked him, I said, because we were talking all the time. I said Justin Phil is the guy we need to get. I because I because I know Trevor Lawrence is gonna go number one to the to, to, to the Jacksonville Jaguars. You know, I because I, you see him, he's you know he's he's it's progress. Right now, having a good finally, you have a good coach that could help him. There's progress, with, you know, for 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 um for Trevor Lawrence. But I said we're not gonna, you know, but but um the second player is Justin Phil, and and Joe Douglas did not want Justin Phil because I was like, wait, wait a minute, is it because of, uh, um you don't want the black quarterback representing the, the the face of the franchise or you know? He said no, recon, no, you know, we we went with Geno Smith. And you know, and, and but I I know that uh, that's not the case, but I, but I, again, those are questions that I had to ask. From from you know, is it something that for for Joe Douglas, whatever? I wanted to to ask him again. He said, no, 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 not that. They have nothing to do with that. It's just that he didn't want Justin Phil. You know, he was lockstep. He told them Zach Wilson is the guy. Zach Wilson would be would be the best quarterback in the NFL. You know, he sold them. He sold the Jets organization. He he sold. Uh, um, both Woody and Christopher Johnson, uh, uh, um, on that, okay, and, and and shame on him, man. You know, uh, again, I, I, Joe Douglas, I like you, but you sold, you sold, you sold the, the organization, you sold the fan a lemon, once again. You know, Makai Beckham is you know is a, is, a, is a solid, is a good player when 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 healthy. If he's healthy, he's, he's a good player. You know, you know, back to back season. You seen, you seen the same, the same stuff. So he got a, he have a lot of work to do. To, to you know, but this off season, what the Jets need to do, Joe Douglas, what do you need to do? Right, what do you need to do? Uh, uh, um, give Philly a call. Give the Eagles a call. All right, I, I don't, I don't think they, they're gonna get rid of. Uh, they're gonna get rid of the backup quarterback. But hey, give him a call, right? Give him a call. Uh, 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 um, that's number one. Uh, uh, can you go with, with, with Garofalo? Already know the system. You know what I mean? Because uh, 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 because the Jets right now, all you need is a competent quarterback. All you need is a competent quarterback. I, you know, it's disappointing to, to even say that, man. As a fan, as a as a former player, all this stuff. It's disappointing to to even say. To somebody, you know, an aptitude, you know, to, to you look, to say, wait a minute, competent player. What are you talking about, competent player? Yes, Zach Wilson does not know the playbook. Right again, the source, high level. He's, you know, he's there. He's there again. I'm not gonna say he signed the checks. I'm not gonna say that. But very high level, top, top of the top of the food chain. Okay, said to me, Zach Wilson does not know the the playbook. Robert Sala been 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 going around. You know, I know Robert Sala's not gonna trash a player like that. He's not gonna trash a second overall pick. Yeah, he'll, he'll you know they'll go after Quentin William. They'll, you know what I mean? You know what I Because mean? you know, you know again, they'll do that. But he's not gonna uh, do it to Zach Wilson, which is you know you got you know they protecting him. But that that is that is just bad. Zach Wilson to the, the 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 high level official said Zach Wilson does not know the playbook. He's been he's been there looking at like you know they're calling plays. He doesn't know the playbook, and and then they have to tell him. Michael Fleur have to tell him 
what 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 it is, what to do, and he still can't do it. That's why you see those easy checkdowns. Those checkdowns. You can't come on, man. Those easy gimmick. You can't do that because he doesn't know what he's doing. He's not a quarterback. I let his family been been fuss, you know, pushing him all along, man. Spoon feed this kid, man. You know, and, and Joe Douglas bought it. So that's what I'm saying. So I was having a talk with the with the official. I said, listen, man, you guys gotta let him go. So so he said, Look, Ray, I understand for the fan base, all the stuff. If if we have another losing season, a, a meltdown like that, not even a meltdown, a losing season, both Joe Douglas and Robert Sala will be fired. You know, and I said, Listen, man, you got we got Sean Payton right now. <laughs> we got Sean Payton right now. You know, we got Vic Vanjo, all the stuff, you know, you you know <laughs> he said, well, well, you know, you can't really do it like right now. You still gotta pay him, you still gotta do it, whatever. So it's best to just wait next season, give him a chance. Give him a chance to to, to write the the ship because we have the players. He, Joe Douglas did draft some good players. I, I you know, so I'm I'm not gonna bash him. He did draft some good players. But the quarterbacks is not his thing. He doesn't know. He doesn't know, and, hit, and the scout fell him. Okay, you got to surround with better players. I don't think we should draft another quarterback right now. I don't think. I don't think that. What we need to do, you need draft. You need to uh, this off season. You need to draft, and also get some competent. Get get some offensive linemen. Fix the old line. I don't care where you get. You know, you know we have the money. Go out there, fix the old line, do all that stuff to you know to, to make sure it works. Because that's the best thing, you know. Fix the old line. Do, I, I, I think that you call Philly, get their back a quarterback, and keep Mike, Mike White, <clears throat> right? Put Zach Wilson. In, uh, 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 uh. I think you just you just release him, let him go, cut bait, cut bait, because he is you know he is not it. He is not it. Uh, uh, um, you got Robert Sala talking about all gas, no breaks, right? He didn't. He, he you know that's not what he's showing me. When you're talking about all gas, no break, all gas, no break, that's not what you show me. Now, 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 I'm looking at the Lions coach. The all gas, no break, that's, that fit him. That fit him. All gas, no break. That fit him. You know what I mean? He, he, he's a coach that they, they, they're out there. Those players are out there. They're hungry. He's taking out, you know, uh, fourth and one, all the stuff. You know, that's an all gas, no break type of uh, coach. Not Robert, uh, not Robert Sala. He looked lost. He's way in over his head. So, people were saying, oh, wait, wait a minute, you know, he's, he's, he's a defensive specialist. I hate when when, when, when they put those monikers on, on people, I, 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 okay, you this, you that. No, he's not it. He's not it. He's a product of San Francisco. That's it. San, he left San Francisco, and they still best defense. And you come in and your defense can't, you know, come on, man, you know, if, you know up and down. They running on you, bad team running on you. Jaguar just did whatever they wanted. So the defensive specialist is I like, was that you or or were you is the product of San Francisco? San Francisco still doing well, and you you know you're not big big meltdown. You flip flopping with the quarterbacks. You knew in practice. In practice, I've seen it. The scout even tell you know you know the scout we talk and the high level official all, all stuff. You know, uh, uh, um, this guy's in practice look trash, trash. He looked worse. If you watch, if you watch Thursday night football on prime time, Amazon Prime. If you watch them, they look bad. All right, they look bad there. He looked bad. So he looked worse in practice. Mike White was, was was out there. I'm not saying that you, you give the key to Mike White and then move on next year. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you got to go get an O-line. The, the, the number one pick, your pick you get in the, in the first round, O-line. Draft an O-line. Go out there. Uh, 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 uh. There's a lot. Of, there's going to be a lot of uh, uh, free agents. Make some trade for O-line. Set up. I know Fan was, was, was you know, you know uh, these guys were, 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 you know, were hurt. You know what I mean? Get someone to, to to compete with him. You know, I know they're playing hurt, but get somebody to compete with him. Fix our O-line. That's number one. Call call Philly, you know, trade for that backup quarterback and have him compete with Mike White. 
right? Have him compete with Mike White. Whoever's better will be the starter. That's it. Give him, give both of them a fair shot. I don't think Mike White has, has gotten that. You know, Straveler, you know, you know, you know listen, I, I, um, he's, he, I like him. He's entertaining. You know, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a football player, but he's not a quarterback. He can't really, he can't really, you know, those, those, you know, he's a gimmick. He's like T Tim Tebow. He's better than Tim Tebow, but in terms of the arm to stretch the field, he can't do that. So, you know, I, he, you know, he's good with the practice squad. You know, he's a player. You don't cut bait. You give him a shot. You give him a shot to improve, to work on his mechanics, all the stuff. But he's a dog, man. He's a dog. That's what you need on the player. He's a dog. So, Zach Wilson, you gotta cut bait, man. You gotta cut bait. This is not. This is not a. This is not even anything. You, you, you know, nah. You gotta move on. Cut bait with, with with Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco was just collecting a check. He's trash, trash, man. Zach Wilson, trash. Robert Sala again. High level official from the Jets said, "Hey, if if Robert Sala and Joe Douglas don't you know don't don't make it to the playoff, right?" They don't make it to the playoffs, and and, and 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 deep, they're both fired because they sold both Woody and Christopher on on, on Sam Donalds. They, they you know and, and they did it for Zach Wilson, but Zach Wilson was was just worse. Sam Don Sam Donald, you know he need a uh, um, you know he's he he, he, need, he need some 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 you know. He can manage the game if you want him to. He can make some throws open, you know. He just that I know he just he just stared out and the receivers. That's, that's so, but that's something that with time you can you, know, you can help him with, All right? Look at Gino. Gino have, finally have a good coach because when he came in with the Jets, I don't I didn't think we had the coaching staff. Rex Ryan was, was you know you know Rex Ryan's a defensive coordinator. He doesn't know anything about the head coach. He should never been a head coach. You know some guys you don't give the keys to, into the Ferraris to. Some some guys you just let him sit in the back seat. And Rex Ryan's that guy. He just a loud mouth. You know, I like him, but he just a loud mouth. That's all. Same with his dad. That's all. You know, it just over promise, under deliver. Over promise. All, always. So it sounds good. You know, you sitting in, in the meeting room, you got these guys that tell you, hey, boy, I got this and that. Over promise, but then under deliver. You know what I mean? So, so you know, I, I don't like that. So Rex Ryan was, was, you know, was that he was, he fit for you know for New York for the for 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 the papers they loved that, you know they loved that you know he come in he would he would chat for hours, you know with the guys of course you know and just soundbite and they loved it to 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 write but but when it when it come on Sundays, you didn't see it, you know what I mean you don't see it to to be a head coach, you got to focus on the whole overall team, not just one area. To say, oh, I got this area, and then that's it. No, that's not a leader. You know what I mean? You're the, you're the leader, you know what I mean? So you you, you, you like the CEO. You're the captain of the ship. You got to control everything. It's not just one one area. Okay, well, okay, well I'm this. I'm going to focus on that. I'm No, you got to focus on everything. So, man, as a fan, it's, you know, it's heart-wrenching, you know. Um, Thursday, after the game, when, 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 when I saw it, the defense was just getting beat, offense was just in that with with Zach Wilson. Robert Sala looked, you know, on the sideline and over his head, way, way and over his head. The video I was gonna put out, I had to delete it because it was just it was it was dark, <laughs> it was dark. So, and I know that if I if I if I would post that, you know, my wife would have killed me because you know just. You know, at some point she, you know, she, you know, she, she, uh, that's the boss. So she gave a, <laughs> she gave the okay to, to, to certain posts. But so, but anyway, but it was dark. So I didn't do it. Friday, Friday, <sighs> the next day, I, you know, I still didn't do it. So I had to give it time to give you this, you know, uh, on Christmas Eve, you know, I, I had to do that. Just post this real quick. But man, you know it's disappointing. You know, you know I, I, not now. If we, if the Jets, I'm, I'm watching a lot of YouTube stars, right? A lot of YouTube stars. 
You got guys like Jake Jake Hasman. You know, I love his show. You got you know you have a great show. Uh, uh, you, you know, I, I, um, I love the great you know I love his show. Um, but he he never when I told him I said listen Zach Wilson was trash. He said nah you know you, you know you got to give him time. You got to give him time. I said, listen, this is a second-year quarterback. The first year, I took the trash he had he had going on. I expect that. It was the first year. He's learning. Now, the, the, this is, the, you know, and I told him, yes, even though you hurt, you still learn the playbook. You still go to the film room. Zach Wilson doesn't, doesn't do none of that. He don't go home and watch film. He does it, in, in, you know, to, 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 to show... The teammate, he's doing that. He's doing. Oh, I'm, I'm here early watching film. What? He, but he doesn't understand what he's watching. All right. So, I told Jake Hasman. I told you, Jake. I told you that he was trash. But you said, no, no, no. Give him time. He's gonna do it. And then finally, now you telling me, oh, you suck. Now all of a sudden you saying, you know, I, I've been saying it. I've been saying it. This guy was trash. So. You know, but I, I'm seeing now all these YouTube stars who doubted me, who told me. When I talked to them, say, oh, no, 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 Now they're saying, they're saying exactly what I've been saying. The guy, he's not it. Now they're saying, we got to move on. We got to cut bait. And, you know, I wanted to call them and say, hey, man, look at that. But, you know, you got to be the bigger person. <laughs> man, it is, you know, I'm laughing now, but, but it's hurt. It's hurt as a fan, watching, you know, as a Jets fan, you know, watching that, it's just terrible, man. You know, we got to do something in the offseason. It, 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 Garoppolo, is, it, you know, should, should, should you go after him? I don't care. Call Tom Brady. Call, you know, call for Tom Brady. Call, call, call every team. And I don't care to do something. Do they want to come in here? Whatever. Aaron Rodgers, I don't, I don't, hey. He might want to change the scenery. Maybe call him up. But if he's willing to have this, you know, he got to have some type of surgery, some stuff, man. But you need somebody to come in, come in there, compete with Mike White. You know what I mean? Well, Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers, you're not, you're not, you're not, they're not competing with Mike White. They're automatically the starter. But I'm just saying, you know, Derek Carr, get Derek Carr, come in. Again, he would, he would want to change the scenery. If you had any quarterback, Daniel Jones, if you had Daniel Jones, the Jets right now would, would you know, the Jets right now would be 12, you know, would, would we go undefeated? Who knows? All we needed was a competent quarterback. So I, I blame Robert Sala for all of that too, and Joe Douglas. But I blame Robert Sala the most because you knew that guy, that kid was trash. Yeah, you had Mike White there the whole time. And, and Joe Douglas, you went and got Joe Flacco. You didn't want you didn't you didn't put anyone to compete against him. You were afraid of you know to put Mike White out there. You knew he was better. You see this kid in practice trash, but you still did everything you could, man. That's that disappointing, man. Anyway, man, that's that's you know, hey sports talk fans, man. I, you know, thank you for watching. You know, uh, again, you know, um, you know, subscribe to the channel. Let, let's let's go to channel together, and and, and, and hopefully you can come and talk. You know, um, talk sports with you know with me and from your living room, from whatever, from wherever, you know, and, and we could do that. Um, and, and you know, that's the, you know, like and subscribe to the channel. You know, watch watch the shows. <laughs> Put your comments. What can what, what can I do better? You know, I'm, you know, I'm willing to to you know, to to listen to you. You know, again, I'm, we try, we're trying this together. All right, um, the Lakers. Anyway, man, you know, you, you, you're wasting LeBron 20 years. You're wasting his time. You know, the guy dropping 30 a game. Year 20, 38 years old. And year 20. And still, 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 still dropping down. You know, I think, I think he's like, what, I, um, I think it was, a, it was, it was 701 points. He might be 670. Or six hundred sixty now, six sixty, whatever, left to 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 break Kareem's record all time to be the all time leader in points. That's a lot, you know. Hey, um, man, let's 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 go, man. You know, and, um, 
you know, again, this is sports talk. We're recal. Uh, I hope you, I hope you, you, you know, you, you know, you enjoy it. You know, again, subscribe. Let's go to the channel, man. You know, don't be a hater. You see it. What, you know, you know, watch it, man. Give me the, give me those views. Let's watch the channel together. Subscribe. All right. Enjoy your Christmas, and, and I hope you have an, have an amazing Christmas and happy New Year.